Hey Yogi, Doc Holly here. Welcome back to Yoga Fit and Flexible Series. In this workout, you're gonna get an outer booty fire. So mentally prepare for that. It's going to be awesome though. You need one heavier dumbbell and one lighter dumbbell. Hop into something that you can move in and let's get started on your yoga mat. See you there. started right away into cat cows today so make your way onto your hands and your knees with those hands right under your shoulders those knees right under your hips sinking the breath to the movement and getting into your body drop the ribs slowly lift the tailbone as you draw the heart forward inhale exhale tuck the chin round the spine all the way down to the tailbone. Starting with these slow, juicy movements, pull the elbows back, lift the heart through, tailbone to the sky. Exhale, tuck your chin and round. And now for these three more. Make them intuitive, maybe if you wanna make them more wavy. Or move side to side, just whatever you'd like. Start to just get into what your body needs. Good, one more breath in. Breath out. Back into your tabletop. Let's get started with that outer hip movement. So into tabletop, I always like a little bit rounded towards cat. So puffing up the upper back slightly, pulling the navel to your spine just a little bit. Hover the right knee off the floor, keeping your hips super even. Kick the right leg out to the side like you're we call them fire hydrants, like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. <laughs> and then back to the center for lack of better imagery. <laughs> back around to the side and back down. Push evenly in your hands. This is also working the outer hip mobility because you're going to the edge. Try not to compensate, trying to get more and then and you end up rotating your hips. Keep them level. Keep it right here. You're doing great to start. I love it. Nine, 10, push it for five, four. On the last one, hold it at the top. Beautiful, two, one, hold it open. Draw the right knee to the right shoulder. Step up and wide, lizard lunge, crawl the hands forward, splitting the legs. Inhale to lift the torso up. You can come down on the elbows if that's your body. If you need more space, come down there, but you totally don't have to. Swift the hips side to side, just moving swiftly here and smoothly getting into the range of motion you have. Take that right hand to the inner right thigh, prying the right thigh open as you lift the right heart center, coming onto the outer blade of your right foot to get into those external rotators of the hip. Good, and place that right hand back on the inside of your right foot. Climb up to the left hand. Tuck the left toes under as you lift the kneecap. Open the foot to the side. So when you walk the hands over to the left side of your mat, you're in this little yoga skandasana. So let low lateral lunge to the back of your mat. Sit into your hips. First with their hands down, just find the mobility you have. If you have tight ankles and need to be a little bit higher, totally fine. Pulse it out. Engage your lower belly, lift your heart. And then we'll twist. So take the left fingertips out wide. Inhale, twist the right arm open to the sky. Getting into that mid back full body mobility. Good, exhale, release. Look to the front, crawl your way there. Turning all 10 toes to the front of the mat. Lower down the left knee, lower down your hands and take the right knee back behind you into tabletop. One cat cow, inhale, cow belly pose. Exhale, roll back into cat pose. And find somewhere in between where you're still pushing the shoulder blades slightly apart. Engage the lower belly, hover the left knee off the floor, pointing the toes, fire hydrants on this side. Kick it out to the side and bring it back down. Good. 
and know that I'll guide you the whole entire way with my voice so you don't always need to be looking at the camera unless you're confused on what we're doing. Make this workout yours, put music on, and just jam out, have some fun. I only have you for 30 minutes, so let's make this useful. For five, remember your why. Why are you here today? Why are you moving? For two, and one. Keep the left knee high, draw the left knee to the shoulder, step up and wide, crawl your hands forward. If you need more space, tuck the right toe, scoot the knee back, lizard lunge, lift the chest, drop into it and move with it. So if that means lowering to your forearms, do so. Draw out the breath, go within your body. So good, if you want that twist, if you did on the other side, take it, left hand in the inner side of the left knee, slowly opening that thigh. Good, draw it open. Little twist and turn here. Couple more breaths to breathe space into the outer hip. So good, inhale. Exhale, come back onto that left hand and the right. Tuck the right toes under. Let's find that low lateral lunge to the back. Right toes out, crawl, crawl, crawl to the back. Left toes turn up and the left kneecap. First staying on our fingertips so we can make this more of a mobility pose than just strength. Go to the edge and then pop back out of it. So it's like find the edge of the stretch, recede back a little bit using your body's natural balance of that fascia, that encasing of the muscles. That's your fascia. Good, take the right fingertips out, inhale that left arm to the sky, get it into the mid back, twist through the spine, gaze up. Exhale, release the left hand, crawl to the front of the mat. All 10 toes come forward. This time we're gonna take a full vinyasa. So step back, shift your body weight forward, lower down halfway. Flip your feet for upward facing dog, lift your chest, navel to spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. I'm awake now, ready to go. Bend into one knee, straighten the other. Walk the dog. Shift the hips side to side. Just go through the little steps of scanning your body, activating your muscles, because down dog is a very active pose. So elongate here, elongate the side body by pressing your hips up and pushing down in your hands. The only thing we want fully relaxed is the muscles in your head and your neck, right? Relax there, inhale. Big exhale. Good, right to it. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. Pull the right heel towards your butt. Push down the right hand and square into the right shoulder. Lift the right knee higher. Come onto the left tippy toes. Look forward, exhale, knee to nose. Watcha. Awesome, turbo dog. Inhale, lift that hip up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, drive knee to nose. More like a tiger curl. Good, one more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, tiger curl. Close it off. Flex your foot. Step in between your hands. Now we've done crescent pose before with the dumbbell. So we're gonna do something similar, but this time I want the lighter one. So first let's drop onto that left knee. If you have a lighter dumbbell, I have a 10. And this is hard without a dumbbell if you don't have one or don't want one, that's fine too. Good, so I'm gonna use one, so I have it here. Tuck the left toes under, lift the kneecap, strengthen those inner thighs and core to rise into this standing crescent pose. Now we're gonna go from a crescent pose to a single leg squat. This is really hard, so I'm gonna show you another way to do it if you're like, girl, you're crazy, because I am crazy. Let's take the dumbbell to your chest this time. Drop the left knee down, rise, shift forward, stand onto your right leg, take the left knee behind your right, and then start to sit back. 
So I'll show you first. So just watch the first time. You're gonna sit back, drawing the left knee all the way back, all the way you wanna almost touch the floor if you have that mobility, and then rise. Since that is very advanced, if you want something that is more reasonable, come onto the left toes and squat like that. Totally fine. We're gonna go five times. Step back into your crescent lunge. This is the first one. Relax your shoulder blades, squat down, push through the right foot, rise, draw the left knee behind the right thigh, all the way down to your Achilles. Boom, rise, gracefully reach back as long as you can, step back, crescent lunge, lower, push up. I'm flying all over the place here. That's how hard it is. Go down into the single leg squat. Push up. Remember, we're only doing five since these are really hard. Crescent lunge. If you need to go slower, do so. Here we go. This is three all the way down. This burns like crazy. Two more. And also keep in mind what's happening with that right knee. If you cannot keep it aligned, if it's collapsing inward every time, that's a no bueno, so don't do it. Use the version that I showed you with the toe mound. Last one, Ooh, let's collect our balance. This one, it's a treat. Go all the way to the floor and lower down. Lower the right knee under the floor, set the dumbbell back. Take the fingertips behind you. Sit your spine up nice and tall. So now we're in this seated twist. Beautiful, so reach the sit bones towards the floor. Tall erect spine. Look back over your right shoulder. Take the right fingertips there as guidance to help you twist. Inhale the left arm to the sky. Two options, either take the left elbow outside the right knee as leverage to twist further into the torso. Or if it feels better for your hips, which I actually like this one better, grab around hugging the right thigh into your chest and then twist to the right. And to get that hip stretch, you're thinking of bringing the left ribs closer to the right thigh and opening the right shoulder blade more, twisting from the navel up. Double twist. Good, one more breath here. Really enjoy when we stop and rest because we don't do this that much, right? Perfect. Now counter twist. Take both hands towards your left hip and just kind of bow down towards the floor like you're gonna wanna kiss the floor. Push your way up. I'm gonna use the lighter dumbbell again for some lateral lunges. If you want it, take it. By all means, if you don't want it, don't take it. So we'll come back onto those fingertips. This is a big transition. Push through your hands, unlace the left leg, shoot it to the back of the mat, turn the toes out. Now I'm sitting kind of in a right low lunge. This is our starting position. Grab the dumbbell into your chest. So you need a lot of leg strength so that when we hold these deep positions, you're not dumping. Think of lifting out of the pocket. Dumbbell to your chest, lateral lunge to the left. Good, get that outer glute, lift up and to the right. Also getting a lot of inner thighs here. This is so good. Here's two, we're gonna do 10. Three, sit down, push up. Good, and transition. Shifting the weight side to side, keeping your core strong. Here's four. Very nice. This is tough stuff, especially after all those weight single leg squats. Good, seven. Ooh, that's why these are short. 30 minutes is more than enough, or a little less. Good. Here's nine. Nine, let's get the last one. 10, 10, you can drop the dumbbell there. Travel back to the front and sit down. We're gonna do a little opener here. I think these are really fun. Move the dumbbell out of the way. Take the left hand back behind you. It's kind of like a modified dancer's bridge. Push down strong in the left heel and down in the right foot to lift your hips up. Lift them to the sky. Come to the right toe mounds. Lift your heart center. Big opening through the front side of the body. So needed. Exhale, relax. Take your hands back to the front of the mat. Turn your way there. Swivel the right hip back to the center. Step back, vinyasa. 
Wow, <laughs> that was real tough. Let's take a second there to just be proud of ourselves for doing that. Now you know you can, you know what you're capable of. So don't stop now. Let's do the other side and pretend like you don't know what's coming. So like you're fresh, this is your first time doing the movement. Let's be present here. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it out, exhale. <sighs> Beautiful, inhale, sweep that left leg to the sky. Push down the hands, bend the knee, open the hip, working to stack that left hip over the right. And then we naturally open up the left shoulder, square it down, push down in your hands. Keep reaching, reaching, reaching that heel back. Come onto the right tippy toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Watch out, strong tiger curl. Inhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Square back around, knee to nose. Inhale, last one, bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, knee to nose, step between your hands. Lower the right knee and then scoot, 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 grab that dumbbell. Sometimes we forget where that guy is. <laughs> and then refine your crescent position. So for crescent, you want your feet more on two tracks rather than a tight rope. So find that hip width distance with your feet. Gather in your muscles. You always wanna ascend away from the floor instead of dump. So use the core, grab the dumbbell, rise. So you know your strength and be honest with yourself for where you are today. You're perfect the way you are and we can always get stronger. We can always push ourselves. So do what you need to do. If you wanna take the single leg squats with me for the five times, let's do it. If that is too much, that's okay too. So let's take this dumbbell in your chest and get ready for it. Drop the right knee. Power up the left foot to stand. Take the right knee behind your thigh. Squat all the way towards the floor. Drive back up into standing. Shoot back, long step. Crescent, here we go. Here's number two. Ground the left foot. Engage as you lower. Stand, shoot it back. Nice, who said that yoga is not tough? Because these are killer. It's mind body with the added strength. The added outer booty burn today. For four, if you're still sore from the last one, <laughs> you're with me, cause I'm sore already. Last one, this one we're gonna go all the way to the floor. Slowly descend all the way there if you can. Lower down the right knee on the outside of your left foot. Move the dumbbell, she will need it. So kind of move it beyond your right hip. Take your two, all of your fingers, tent your fingers, sit nice and tall. Draw the left hand back behind you. Inhale the right leg, right arm to the sky, and then we'll take a twist. Whether you wanna use the elbow as leverage or grab your leg and just hug it deep within to find that right rib cage more, moving more and more towards the left thigh. And we start to rotate here. Inhale for length in your spine. Nice lifted spine, exhale to twist. Two more breaths, enjoy it, inhale. Exhale, I hope you're still making these fun for yourself, because that's what this is about, loving movement. One more breath. Exhale, twist, counter twist, take the hands on the outside of your right hip, bow towards the floor, rise, unravel, so take your hands down, unravel the right leg as much as you can, draw it to the back of your mat. You can always heel toe it there and then open it. Now we're sitting into your left hip, into that low lateral lunge on the left side, taking the dumbbell into your chest, going only as deep as you have strength for. Push up, now you're gonna see the back and squat back to the right. Draw up through center, sit the sit bones back to the left. So it's more like you're sitting in a chair behind you rather than driving the knee forward. That's wrong, that's right, if you can see that. Two, here's our third one, good and then find your rhythm. You're almost there today. 
let's call that halfway. Here we go. Five, four, maintain the engagement. You got this, three more, three, Use that yoga power. Two, use your breath. One more, and drop the dumbbell. Crawl it back to the left, sit down. Bring that left foot a little further away from you if you need to. Draw the right hand back. Left arm sweeps up and overhead. Push through the outer blade of your right foot. Maybe onto the left toe mounds, lift your heart center. Lift the hips high. Open the front body, exhale, release the hips. Vinyasa, hands come to the front of the mat. Rotate the hips neutral, step back. Whoop, let's get on our mat, lower down. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. This workout, I am gonna give you a brief break because I know what's coming next and we're almost to the end of it. So you've got this. Child's pose for three breaths. Knee wide, knees wide, toes together. Ooh, relax here. If your heart rate is sky high, this is your moment to take and relax. Ease into it. We want to build up the work and then harmonize our nervous system. Breath in. Breath out, roll up. Ready for a little more? Let's do it. Come back onto those hands, downward facing dog. Make sure there's not anything that could bother you too close to your mat and just rolled over a dumbbell. Back to the right side. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. This time, look back over your left shoulder. Pull the right toes all the way towards your left hand. Come high into the right fingertips until you can come onto the left tippy toes and flip your dog, wild thing. Inhale, lift the heart to the sky. Push down the left hand, outer blade of the left foot. Lift a little more. Exhale. This is a tough transition too. So if you're ready for it, come onto the outer blade of the left foot. Drive the right knee into your chest. We're gonna move really slow in this transition. Turn forward into a, a two-legged plank on the left toe mounds, left hand. Curl the right knee into your chest. And this can be like just watching and then step forward. If that was crazy, someday you'll get there if you want to. Awesome. Lower the left knee down. Inhale, lift your hands to the sky. Open the chest. Exhale, hands and heart center. Lift the left toes. Crescent lunge. Relax the shoulder blades back. Shift forward. Left knee comes to your chest. All right, this is our last boost of strength. Let's get it. So either those squats on the left toe mounds, or if you wanna do single leg squats, we're gonna crank out 10. Let's do it. Left knee behind the right, lower down for 10, nine, eight, keep that engaged in your belly. Seven, hips go back. Six, five, almost there, four, three, come on, good, last little bit, two, and one, oh, holy smokes, let's stretch out that right hip, stand on the left foot, take the right foot over and across, the left thigh, hands in prayer position, sit the hips back to stretch in this outer right hip. If you want to do this in sitting because you're just so tired, I don't blame you, but this is quick and it's efficient, so I'm just going to do it here. Whoop. If I can. Good. One more breath. That is how much I'm losing it. Guys, balance is hard. One more breath. And release. We're all human. Shake it out. Inhale, reach your arms up over our head. Exhale, hands and heart center. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, swan dive, lead with the chest forward fold. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, vinyasa. 
step, hop, jump, or float your way through. Listen to your energy level and what you need to make this completely your practice. Woo. Inhale, let's do the left, fire it up. Last little bit, left leg to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. Really open this time, even into the left ribs. Look back over the right shoulder as the toes come towards the hand. Come light onto the left fingertips, high onto the right toes, flip your dog. Inhale as you lift the chest up. A little back bend if it feels good for your body. And we do that tricky transition. Go really slow with me on the outer blade of your right foot. Push away with your right hand. Gather in your core to bring the left knee to your chest. Look forward and kind of take that left hand in like it's blocking your face. Turn onto the right toe mounds and then step forward. Woohoo! Inhale. I'm cheering for myself there. Do that. Encourage yourself. Reach the hands up overhead. Open your front body. Exhale, hands and heart center. Beautiful. Let's get into our crescent lunge. Tuck the right toes under. Lift the knee. Drive into standing right knee to your chest. So if you did the single leg squats on the other side, let's do them on this side too. Draw the right knee behind the left. Let's go for 10. Nine. You might find one side is way harder than the other. Eight. Seven. Or it depends on the day. Sometimes my left is harder, sometimes my right is. I've sprained my right ankle. Whoop, there we go. Five, a bunch of times. So that one's really hard. But now I'm falling on my left. <laughs> Three, so you never know. Two. And one. All right, let's do that standing figure four stretch. Stand firm on the right foot. Take the left ankle over the right knee. Sit the booty back, lift the chest. Use your, your strength, but also bounce into it. Find the edge, recede a little bit for five, four, three, two, and one. Release the leg, shake it out. I need that little shake. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, pull the hands down, heart center. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, vinyasa. Forward fold, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, either jump or step back through your chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Last time, sweep back. Downward facing dog, clearing breath, inhale. Open your mouth, sigh it out, exhale. Good, lower down onto your knees. Let's do a quick happy baby stretch onto your back. Lower all the way there. Tuck your chin, maybe roll back the knees into your chest. Up and us in a squeeze, giving yourself a big hug. Just gently rocking side to side there. Feels good. Happy baby. We're gonna grab the outsides of your feet with your hands. Elbows come on the inside of your knees. Or if that's a lot, you can hold anywhere along your shins or your calves. Or if you want more, you can take your two piece fingers to your big toes to just pull them down towards the floor. Think of everything just getting heavy, letting go, and melting down towards the floor, lengthening your tailbone down, relaxing your shoulder blades, even your tailbone lengthening to the floor. You can breathe steadily in stillness. Sometimes it's nice to rock side to side. I'm even closing my eyes. Sometimes that's nice to take the energy back within you. Amidst all the distractions, anything else we could be thinking about, let's be right here. Good, pull the knees back into your chest. Take this moment of gratitude for your body. If you have time, release into your savasana. If you're ready, you can roll two or three times back up to a seated cross-legged position. Finding your beautiful posture, taking your hands into heart center for one more breath together to seal in our practice. Inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. 
slowly blinking your eyes back open. Namaste, Yogi. I will see you next time for video four. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.